Hi guys, this is my first video. Although I didn't want this to be my first video, I thought it would be better to start like this, because I can't stand this guy spreading misinformation and causing lions to be labeled as weak animals and laughing stocks. That's why I'm here to highlight some points that show that it shows videos out of context and does making lions appear inferior to tigers, when in fact they are not. Let's start. In this video, he wants to compare the strength of the two animals, but he was a bit biased if you notice, see how this tiger is suffering to take down an Indian bull. Although he doesn't exactly look like an adult bull, the average weight of these cattle is up to high, but not to the point of being a difficulty for a predator like a tiger, isn't it? While this adult male tiger struggles to take down a probably young bull, a simple young male lion easily takes down an adult buffalo. Why didn't he compare it that way? Exactly, to make tigers look better than lions in strength, and it's not just that, besides the tiger clearly having a high effort to take down a young Indian bull, this guy only showed tigers catching even smaller cattle, and to compare, he had lions carrying wildebeest carcasses, it may even seem fair, since they are similar prey, but clearly that's not fair, and watching the video you might think that the lions are having difficulty carrying the wildebeests, but that's not quite the case. Besides the tiger's cattle clearly being smaller and lighter, the dry terrain and everything makes everything more difficult than a soft forest floor, it is much easier to drag a heavy thing on soft ground than on hard ground. Furthermore, it makes no sense for him to want to compare the loading time of carcasses, even though wildebeests are lighter than these cattle on average, you can clearly see that they are heavier than cattle that tigers can. In this other video, he wants to compare the strength of a lioness with the strength of a supposed tigress. See this part. This particular carcass has been somewhat consumed, as you can see from the lioness's face which is covered with blood. One of the things the viewers might notice is that the zebra carcass is quite bloated. This is due to gases inside of the animal's body which causes the stomach to expand after death. Looking at it like this, it seems that the lioness doesn't have much strength. However, note that she is pulling the carcass by the zebra's ear, in addition to being an awkward place. She still has to drag the carcass against the dry, sandy ground, which makes everything more difficult, but he doesn't analyze that, does he? Furthermore, since the beginning of the video the lioness is panting, this is due to the fact that the prey was recently killed and also because of the heat, which is one of the reasons why the lioness decided to pull the carcass. But he doesn't analyze these important parts, just to make the lioness look weak even though that is not the reality. Time we have a tigress moving a buffalo carcass. The tigress stares at the cameraman for a brief moment. Alright, and there you guys go. So now the tigress is moving the carcass. Unlike the lioness example we saw before, this tigress is actually dragging the carcass up a hill. Despite this obvious disadvantage, she does quite well. Judging from this side-by-side -side comparison, overall, I would say the tigress probably performed a little bit better in this particular comparison. The lioness had to stop more frequently, and she was pulling the carcass more slowly, whereas the tigress was able to do it a little bit more effortlessly and with more force behind it. It's like I said, the lioness was clearly panting from the beginning of the video. It's normal that she was stopping every now and then, and unlike the tigress, who is carrying a very light carcass, compared to what the lioness carries, the lioness is pulling the carcass by the ear, while the tigress is pulling by the back so you can't say that the tigress performed better just because she didn't stop pulling, but unlike the lioness, who actually dragged the zebra to the desired location, the tigress was unable to remove the carcass from that place, she's still on that hill. Furthermore, there is no way you can tell that one animal used more force than another just by looking. Even more so with a look as imprecise as yours, clearly the lioness carried a greater weight and performed better, as she pulled the carcass in an unfavorable location and required more effort. Seriously, look more closely, or stop favoring your tigers. As we can see here from this video clip, this tiger has made a kill on an adult bull gaur. Utilizing its jaws, as well as its back muscles, the tiger is successful in flipping over the bull carcass. Alright guys, now it's the lion's turn to give it a shot. This lion has made a kill on a cape buffalo. He utilizes his jaws to try to move the carcass. 
However, he doesn't quite succeed. Do you understand now why I'm making this video to show that it favors tigers? Seriously, it's extremely ridiculous how apparent this is, although the lion also ate a large part of the buffalo. The big reason he didn't pull the carcass was because, like you, the lion didn't see the tree blocking his advance. And I wasn't the only one who noticed this, a guy in your comments warned you about this, but look what you said. Since you didn't notice the tree moving, I'm going to make a point of playing the video several times, and since your look doesn't seem to be all that sort of thing, I will make sure to point to the tree so you can see it. Judging from this side-by-side -side comparison here, it looks like the tiger had a much easier time moving that carcass. And this is especially impressive considering that bull gowers weigh significantly more than Cape Buffalo do. Okay, okay, although I already said that the weight of the gore is reduced by a lot, since you don't want to compare it with animals heavier than a cape buffalo, how about a giraffe? Watch this video, the lion pulls the carcass of this giraffe with almost no difficulty, and he is not in a favorable location, he is in the mud, which would make everything more difficult for him, but he manages to pull it. Furthermore, with the carcass in the mud it becomes heavier, forcing the lion to use more strength and notice that the lion is not even fully grown. While that tiger struggles just to turn the carcass, this lion carries a giraffe efficiently, something no tiger can do. Why doesn't he show this to compare the strengths of animals? Exactly, to make the tigers look superior. Well, although this video apparently shows that a baby tiger is stronger than a slightly older lion, I have an explanation for this and unfortunately it involves physics. I'm not a physics fan, but I learned enough to explain it. Physics explains that in a tug of war, the one who has more support on the ground, that said, if two opponents have the same strength, the one with more support on the ground will stand out, this is also true for different strengths. For example, if someone is stronger than the other person, if the weaker person has more support they can either match the strength, or be able to overcome it depending on the difference in strength between individuals. To explain better, let's use the most everyday example. Let's imagine a child she wants to pull the grass out of the ground, but the root is attached to the ground, so the child has to use a lot of strength to pull the grass, even though it is bigger than the grass, because it is attached to the ground, it makes this more difficult. What I want to say is, see that the lion, in addition to not having a support on the ground at any time, is not holding in a favorable place, while the tiger, in addition to having a favorable part of the clothing, is managing to stand firm. I recognize that this tiger is strong, but not to the point of overcoming the lion as this video points out. The lion doesn't even grab a good spot and doesn't even try to stay firm. That's why this tug of war ended this way. In this video, we clearly see an old and sick lion, but the only thing he wants to show is the lion apparently being submissive to the tiger, something that even this lion being sick doesn't show no kind of submission. This lion, as we've seen in previous videos, seems to be very submissive around this particular tiger. Besides, why doesn't the tiger attack the dog, who is smaller than him and is healthy? The tiger clearly fears the dog, because he knows that the dog will fight back if he attacks, unlike the lion, which has almost no strength to defend itself. And as you said in the video, the fact that the zoo is Chinese explains a lot about the health of this lion. In this other video, we also see a sick lion, he probably had his mane shaved, it looks so strange, meanwhile the tigress looks very healthy unlike the lion, contrary to what he says, this lion is not healthy, just look at him, does he really look healthy to you? Seriously, that's a healthy three-year-old lion, that's a healthy three-year-old lion, that's a healthy three-year-old lion. <laughs> This lion must be six years old and is probably a dwarf lion, a common thing the Chinese use to make lions look smaller. In this other video, he decided to make a size comparison with one tiger and the liger, Hercules, which is the largest liger ever recorded, who weighed 900 pounds, 418 kilos as an adult, and had a length of 3 meters and 33 centimeters, and a height at the shoulder of 1 meter and 25 centimeters. No tiger reached his size, but according to him, this tiger would have. But notice, that the tiger is in a place higher than the floor of Hercules, in addition, the keeper had to lean on that place to feed the tiger, and after researching a little, I found the keeper, with the supposed tiger in the video, but I'm not saying anything, but him calling him a giant tells me a lot, now look at the size between the two, it's not so similar anymore how much he made it seem, isn't it? 
Although Doc Antle and Tyler Nolan are actually the same size, Hercules never had any actual tiger his size. This is the importance of research. I think it's amazing how much he can find something to show how the tiger isn't healthy in a video, pointing out a cataract. I even praise that you notice such subtle things in tigers, but ignore that the lion is clearly sick and old and almost malnourished. Although you noticed that the lion has a missing canine, it was just to show that the tiger apparently has none, you notice that tiger don't have balls, to say that it's a tigress, but it doesn't say that the lion is sick and dwarf, I'm not even going to waste my time talking about your other videos, because besides fanaticism, you just make lions look weak, the and this video here, which you say exposes the truth of ancient Rome, when in fact it just shows a painting of a lion killing a leopard and shows it in other places. And with that, assume that lions only killed leopards in ancient Rome, when in fact this is not the case, stop spreading lies and misinformation, I hope that if you have seen this video, have understood everything correctly, since apparently you don't understand the language yourself.